All right, cheers. Ding. Ding. I love you. I got you. <laughs>
And you got a walk-in closet. Hey, hey, suits and robes ready, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And you got this nice bathroom with a lot of space. Double sinks. Nice shower. It's got to be a toilet. No, it's a linen closet. I just passed the toilet. What's this? Another linen closet? Yeah. All right, and then another closet. There's so many closets. All right, got a nice laundry room. I like that laundry rooms are upstairs because when you wash your clothes, obviously you can just put it away in your dresses that are upstairs instead of carrying the hamper up and down. What do you think about this flooring? Do you like these, these beehive hexagon tiles? Debatable. They're kind of cool. It, I think that's a personal preference, but it looks like KB still uses a lot of the white on white. Can't go wrong with that. And you got another bedroom here and another kid's bedroom here. Uh, if my kids were in this room, they'll probably be playing with those every night and never sleeping. So I would not put guitars on that wall. But I like this home for the price. I really like the price of this. I don't know where my buyer went. Where'd my buyer go? Where'd you go? So this is definitely one of the struggles that I have um, being a stay-at-home mom because uh, if I want to work out, like it's not a spur of the moment, all right, let's just work out. It's more of like, a, okay, I want to work out. So let me set up my workout station. Let me set up Enzo station so he has something to do. And then um, when I'm working out, I have to make sure that in between sets and reps that he's not coming onto the mat um, when I'm doing like squats and stuff because I don't want him to get hurt. So, you know, by the time that I'm actually done prepping to work out, um, I'm exhausted. So uh, I'm still trying to do my best. And at least, you know, I'm giving myself some credit because at least I'm making that effort. I could just easily just say like, uh, it's cool. I'm too tired. It's too much work. I'm just not going to work out. But uh, that's really something that I've been pushing myself to do lately. And um, it's, it's pretty fulfilling and it's been rewarding for me because at least that's some kind of like uh, giving myself some me time, but not really. But at least it's like trying to find that balance between like family life, mom life, and my own personal life. Little brother has to wake up with mommy to take sister to school, huh? Because I coffee. I know. How are you feeling right now? Very well. Very what? I'm not very well. Oh no. And you're sleepy? Too sleepy that you don't want to eat? All right, so we are at another new build. Um, this is in the preserves of Chino, which is a really trending area. And this is a home by TriPoint. Let me show you guys, we're in the 600K range. And I like this a lot. So TriPoint is a luxury builder. Right off the bat, you got this huge office. You got all this natural lighting coming in. A nice big kitchen, nice big countertop island. Very, very nice. One thing that I noticed is how big this pantry is. What? Oh, it keeps going. It keeps going. Oh, there's a wall. But that's still fairly big. It's a nice size living room right there. One thing that I've never seen really in today homes that are being built in the guest bathroom that everyone uses is a shower. I've seen that in older homes. I don't see it anymore. So that's kind of cool. All right, up the stairs, up the stairs. What do we have here? French doors. It has to be a laundry. Yeah. 
Okay, it's a pretty decent sized laundry room. We got a bedroom. We got a Jack and Jill bathroom here. That's a nice Jack and Jill. A tub and shower combination. Pretty cool. I like how TriPoint always has these panels on the closet doors. Gives the home a much nicer look, a fancier look. Let's see. Oh, that's a pretty big walk in closet. So now we're in the primary room. Got double shelves. Goes pretty high. Got nine feet ceilings, separate toilet, shower. Yeah. Pretty nice big room. kids favorite food so they asked me to make it tonight and then we ran out of the, the chicken broth so I had to put water with the chicken broth mix so this chicken bouillon added this finally we don't really eat this in the house but this changes the flavor so much so good and here this is how I mix the meat to go inside so I don't use, um, I don't add crab meat in there or shrimp, but uh, I put ground meat in there and then I add this crab paste to it to get the flavor for it. There we go. This is how it looks now. And then I like to get spoonfuls of it and I put it inside to cook in little blobs so that the meat sticks together. Like that. And the egg, the egg, the egg always holds it together pretty well. Okay, and I just do this until all the meat is in there. And then after the noodles are done boiling, I like to put it inside a strainer. I like to run it, run through some cold water so that the uh, noodles stop cooking and then so it doesn't get the noodles too soft. There we go. So it's a good texture. Ooh, look at that. How's your food? <coughs> Horrible? Yeah. Uh, mommy says no. I'm a cutting maniac too. You are like cutting me. maniac because you guys keep cutting everything right here. All right, cheers. Ding. Ding. I love you. I got you. All right, so I spent the last three days in LA, uh, literally almost 24/7 at the airport. Uh, besides showing these homes with the client. Um, I slept at the hospital the last two nights and man it was tough I had to bring two chairs together um, and it wasn't long enough so I was like in fetal position trying to sleep it was really hard uh, my dad would wake up pretty much every couple hours and he would need something but within those couple hours a nurse would come in literally every hour and so it was a lot of disruptive sleep to where you know you got to stay there for a couple of days you got your infant you got the nurses coming in and out and you're just so tired and deprived of sleep that's exactly how i feel right now um, but i'm happy to be at the airport and i'm glad that my dad is recovering um, you know 
there were some scary moments he's in a lot of pain at some points but he's recovering and he's still at the hospital uh, but i had to leave so headed back to las vegas tonight tomorrow going back to the airport with christina and the kids back to la for the weekend because it's christina's birthday and i gotta show homes on the weekend and uh then i also gotta see my dad so i'll be in vegas for the next 12 hours and then back to la so kind of crazy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do want to say thank you guys for your support your prayers for my dad um, you guys it, it means a lot to me when i see those comments so i appreciate it and i hope you guys know that i appreciate it so till next time peace out say thank you thank you say i love you I So shy.